Greetings and welcome to the next installment of my Autodesk Inventor Tips and Tricks series. This one is all about fancy patterns, how to create a fancy 3D pattern of a feature in a part file using rectangular pattern. Now, normally with rectangular pattern, what you do is you select a, a feature like this, this sort of boss feature which I've got here with a tapped hole on the uh, metal torsion bar. You select a direction, usually an edge, and you say give me like five or something and it'll give you five with a you know evenly spaced over 10 mil or 10 mil between them whatever you choose and it just does it in a, in a kind of straight line you know like that but what i wanted to do is i wanted to pattern all the way around the extents of the part file all the way around and i want 10 of them why not it's not too much to ask is it no how would you do it it's pretty easy uh you just need to create an extra sketch in order to do it we need a sketch path is what we need. So I'm going to create a new 2D sketch on top of this part here. When you do this, make sure you don't have the option Auto Project Edges for Sketch Creation and Edit ticked. Do not do not have that ticked. Uh, it, w it, it looks like it was written by a child, but you know, loosely translated, it means do not automatically project the edges when you create a sketch or edit a sketch. That's what that means. So once you make your new sketch, as long as you don't have any sort of sketch lines anywhere, go to Project Geometry and then you want to project the outer extents uh, basically it's the center line for the pattern you want to do this tick and click right but because you want a full loop don't select the face or it'll project this edge this circular edge around the feature or and then when you start a pattern it'll start to do weird things and it'll try and pattern it around here you don't want to do that you want it to sort of carry on through there so you've got a full closed loop if you know what i mean uh, a little bit difficult to do that, so press F7 when you get to this point and it sort of slices away what you don't need to see and then you're just going to finish the loop just by drawing a line. So click the line on the top uh, ribbon bar and then just close that up like so. What I'm also going to do for reasons which will become apparent later on is create a new point, a sketch point on the middle of that new line which I've drawn there. So I've got this little sketch point smack bang in the middle of this feature. Reet, what do you do next? You go into your rectangular pattern tool select the feature that you want to pattern so the boss itself the chamfer on the top and the hole there and then for the direction this is where you want to try and pick your sketch path it's a little bit difficult to pick it because there's sort of edges and lines on top of each other here so zoom in and then make sure you select a sort of independent line which isn't overlapping anything else so in this case i want to pick this middle line here and that will select my entire sketch loop great what next well then you tell it how many instances of the pattern you want let's say 10 so you can see it's now starting to bend around the shape it's great but look what it's doing look what it's doing it's kind of stopping here i don't want it to stop there i want it to go all the way around so instead of a spacing you want to select the curve length Way, look at that it's starting to look good it's still not right it's good but it's not right what it's doing it's patterning to here to here to here and it's kind of going off center look what it's doing now what it's doing is it's kind of like a copy with base point. If you think back to AutoCAD, if you used AutoCAD before and you do a copy with base point, this little dot here is the base point of the pattern. So it's kind of going from there, to there, to there, to there. See what I mean? So at that point is a common base point for the copied pattern, which you don't want. And that's where your new point comes into play. So click the more button here for direction one, click start. Uh, it's not very clear, granted that's why these videos exist and press the sketch point in the middle. That's your new base point, and it will perfectly centralize all of the centered, well, it'll perfectly centralize all your features based on this middle central base point, if you if you like, and it gives us 10. You can increase that to 13, to however many you want. Click OK, and then you get a lovely, a lovely uniform pattern, perfectly, um, spaced around the outer extents of the part file and it looks beautiful it, it looks like it's got a disease actually but it's uh, it's done the job so if you found that useful uh, great uh, there's no doubt you won't have ever had to do this exact thing but you know if you have a part file with a feature that you need to copy around the extents of a part just follow the exact same process and use the uh, use the edges and the faces of the part that you're working with and you should get the same result so hopefully you find that useful. If you do, please press like and subscribe for further videos. Uh, put some comments in the video below. And I'll get back to you guys in the future with some more videos. Thank you very much and see ya.